miss you, Brian. That is a delicious cup of joe. It's time for breakfast for our big run today. It's food time. I am enjoying a cup of coffee as I upload today's, yesterday's ginger bits. So I'm basically uploading the day after I'm filming. So what you're seeing is actually a day late, but uh, hopefully you guys don't mind. On the schedule today, a run. I get to finally see some redwoods. So let's get ready and uh, head out into the rain. Keep uploading, little computer. Keep uploading. Big trees. I love it. Oh, this is the first long run I'm gonna get to do in a long time, so let's enjoy it and let's get off the carpet. <laughs> First up with the crew, Miss Stephanie Howe. Hello. Nice, you're flying down those muddy slopes. Yeah. <laughs> nice, nice job. from our run and the power is out. We're hoping that we can get power before tonight so we can show the movie and there's a live band and everything. We have generators, so we have a plan B. I believe there's a plan C. What a run, that was incredible. Love rainy, lush forests. It just, it reminds me of the Northwest and just makes me that much more excited to get back there. So uh, for the rest of the day, just get to have some fun, relax a little bit and uh, prepare for uh, the screening tonight, nice. All right, so as I mentioned, the power's out. We don't have electricity. Luckily, a couple of the campers have generators in their cars, so we'll be able to do the screening tonight off of generators, which is fantastic. But now we're finding out more information. There's a tree that fell across the road and destroyed the power line. So not only is the road not accessible, there's no power, and uh, I'm gonna show you kind of what happened, the damage. Oh, man. Who, oh, who is this and what's his name? This is little Ricky Bobby. <laughs> That's awesome. How old is Ricky Bobby? Yeah, he's just about two weeks now. Uh, hey, buddy. Hi. You're not first, you're last. Exactly. <laughs> I love it. Thank you, you very much. The, the things you see uh, in the backcountry of Aptos. Santa Cruz Amazing. Mountains, man. That's Santa Cruz awesome. Mountains. Santa Cruz Mountains. So we can't get back there. Okay. But so there's like see, a what? A tree right down? Right on the corner there. Yeah, right on the corner. You can actually see, I think you can see the line. Probably the, oh yeah, the lines and stuff. Got a busy, busy week, huh? Oh, yeah, it's pretty busy. Yeah, that's, well, that's a subcontractor for a few days. That's a subcontractor. So everything is being subcontracted for them. Yeah. So that means no access to the venue, which it sucks because now people from outside of the camp can't come see the movie. But it also means that uh, the road won't open until 6 a.m. tomorrow. We're trapped to camp until 6 a.m. And that's actually not a bad thing, seeing as there's beer. Focus. Okay. 
is there. We're setting up the, the projector now. We luckily have a gas power generator. Does that help? Maybe. Uh, we have a gas power generator, so we're gonna be able to power everything up. And uh, we're just kind of teching that now to make sure everything works so we can actually uh, watch a decade on tonight. Still kind of cool in here though. Kind of moody. <laughs> Success, everything works, that's great. We have power provided by our generator. This is our saving grace right now. This thing's saving the movie tonight. Nice job. By the way, this is Russ, the owner of Fleet Feet Aptos. Aptos. And uh, just a rad dude. Thanks for bringing us some, man. Really appreciate uh, it. Love having you here. Thanks yeah, for coming, man. You got it, dude. like a horror movie. I'm <laughs> sorry. So uh, I'm just going to grab my chargers, we're going to eat dinner, and then we're going to show the movie. I, I actually kind of like what's happening right now. Uh, I love the fact that the power is out, the road is closed, everything's shut off. It's a true trail running camp, and everyone's being so cool about it. Um, that's, that's pretty rad. Tomorrow my flight leaves super early, so the road that's shut down is the only road up here. It, there's no other road or access. You can hike trails and stuff like that. Super unique viewing experience for everyone involved here. Uh, I'm glad to share that with you. I actually have no idea if anyone's even seen yesterday's Ginger Bits. I don't even know if it uploaded. I tried uploading it this morning before the power went out and I uh, hope it worked. Bleh, all stuff that we can talk about later. Uh, let's go grab some food. Yeah. Couple things. One, thank you for your patience. Uh, you guys are all really great about this. So yeah, Brian is probably the single nicest guy I've ever met in my life. Um, he also happens to be the owner of Fleet Feet Sports Seattle with his lovely wife, wife Andrea. Um, and this movie uh, is inspiring. Brian's an inspiring guy. And uh, I'm super excited that Ethan was um, nice enough and uh, interested enough in Brian to make the movie. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce Ethan Newberry, the ginger runner. Yay! This is Peter. I have to, I have hey, to not only give him a, a licorice, but also a pound. I really appreciate him. Uh, cause, take one of those. Yeah, take one of those. He was uh, showing us around on the trails today here in Nicene, and absolute uh, uh, generous dude, man. Really appreciate it. All right. Shout out to Peter. See you guys. See you, man. Nice meeting you, Ethan. You too, dude. And that, my friends, is it from Aptos. This was a blast to come up here, run some trails, hang out with really awesome people. A big shout out to Russ, Tina, uh, Pete, Cole, and everyone that helped out at the camp, um, really, really appreciate it. This was a lot of fun. I am now about to get ready to edit. How do we even have light in here? As you can see, there's some red flashing behind me. That's the gas generator that's powering the lights in this building. Not all the buildings have it, just this one. I can edit. I have an early flight. I have to fly out at 6 a.m. tomorrow, and uh, I don't get to hang out as long as I'd like. I'm going back to Los Angeles tomorrow, and then I have basically one day in Los Angeles before we fly to the southeast uh, on Tuesday. So there'll be a little bit of a break, but I um, really appreciate you guys watching this series. I hope you guys enjoy it. Now, if you don't mind, I am going to uh, get tucked in. <laughs> okay. See you tomorrow. Bye. Just kidding.